just in case anybody is not familiar with Blender, it's a free and open source 3D creation suite. It supports the entirety of the 3D pipeline. So modeling, rigging, animation, simulation, rendering, uh, composing, motion tracking, video editing, and game asset creation. So it it's kind of a one-stop shop for 3D. Now version five brings support for showing HDR colors and a much wider range of colors. So it it, it goes without saying, you're going to need make sure, you know, if you're going to want to do this, you're going to need a monitor, which can support HDR. You know, you got to, you, you can output it, but if you can't see it, it doesn't do you any good. Uh, you are also going to need to be running Wayland and the Vulcan back in. So this is another switch to Wayland that Blender 5 is not going to do you a lot of good on X11. There's a lot of focus on color for version 5 with a lot of different parts of the program supporting HDR, wider color palettes, and HDR supported in both static image and in video. So no matter what you're doing, you're going to get more colors and better ways to play them. Uh, they've done things like revamp the curves drawing feature, which supports the new curves object type. And there's and there's a new geometry attribute constraint. There's a new cylinder option for displaying curves, which allows for rendering thicker curves, and you won't have them look like a flat ribbon. 